Bow shocks form the boundary between a magnetosphere and an ambient, or at least surrounding, magnetized medium. This occurs when the magnetic field of an astrophysical object interacts with the nearby flowing ambient plasma. For example, when the solar wind, flowing with a relative speed of order 400 km per second, encounters the magnetic field of Earth, a bow-shape boundary forms. For Earth and other magnetized planets, it is the boundary at which the speed of the stellar wind abruptly drops as a result of its approach to the magnetopause. For stars, this boundary is typically the edge of the astrosphere, where the stellar wind meets the interstellar medium. Topic. Description The defining criterion of a shock wave is that the bulk velocity of the plasma drops from supersonic to subsonic, where the speed of sound cs is defined by c s 2 equals gamma p Rho display style c underscore s caret two equals gamma p rho, where gamma display style gamma is the ratio of specific heats. P display style p is the pressure and Row display style row is the density of the plasma. A common complication in astrophysics is the presence of a magnetic field. For instance, the charged particles making up the solar wind follow spiral paths along magnetic field lines. The velocity of each particle as it gyrates around a field line can be treated similarly to a thermal velocity in an ordinary gas, and in an ordinary gas, the mean thermal velocity is roughly the speed of sound. At the bow shock, the bulk forward velocity of the wind which is the component of the velocity parallel to the field lines about which the particles gyrate, drops below the speed at which the particles are gyrating. Topic. Around the Earth The best studied example of a bow shock is that occurring where the sun's wind encounters Earth's magnetopause. Although bow shocks occur around all planets, both unmagnetized, such as Mars and Venus and magnetized, such as Jupiter or Saturn. Earth's bow shock is about 17 kilometers, 11 miles thick and located about 90,000 kilometers, 56,000 miles from the planet. Topic: At comets. Bow shocks form at comets as a result of the interaction between the solar wind and the cometary ionosphere. Far away from the Sun, a comet is an icy boulder without an atmosphere. As it approaches the Sun, the heat of the sunlight causes gas to be released from the cometary nucleus, creating an atmosphere called a coma. The coma is partially ionized by the sunlight, and when the solar wind passes through this ion coma, the bow shock appears. The first observations were made in the 1980s and 90s as several spacecraft flew by comets 21P, Jacobini Zinner, 1P, Halley, and 26P, Grig Schellerup. 
It was then found that the bow shocks at comets are wider and more gradual than the sharp planetary bow shocks seen at for example Earth. These observations were all made near perihelion when the bow shocks already were fully developed. The Rosetta spacecraft followed comet 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko from far out in the Solar System, at a heliocentric distance of 3.6 astronomical units, in toward perihelion at 1.24 astronomical units, and back out again. This allowed Rosetta to observe the bow shock as it formed when the outgassing increased during the comet's journey toward the Sun. In this early state of development the shock was called the infant bow shock. The infant bow shock is asymmetric and, relative to the distance to the nucleus, wider than fully developed bow shocks. Topic. Around the Sun For several decades, the solar wind has been thought to form a bow shock at the edge of the heliosphere, where it collides with the surrounding interstellar medium. Moving away from the Sun, the point where the solar wind flow becomes subsonic is the termination shock, the point where the interstellar medium and solar wind pressures balance is the heliopause, and the point where the flow of the interstellar medium becomes subsonic would be the bow shock. This solar bow shock was thought to lie at a distance around 230 astronomical units from the Sun, more than twice the distance of the termination shock as encountered by the Voyager spacecraft. However, data obtained in 2012 from NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer IBEX indicates the lack of any solar bow shock. Along with corroborating results from the Voyager spacecraft, these findings have motivated some theoretical refinements. Current thinking is that formation of a bow shock is prevented, at least in the galactic region through which the Sun is passing, by a combination of the strength of the local interstellar magnetic field and of the relative velocity of the heliosphere. Topic. Around other stars In 2006, a far-infrared bow shock was detected near the AGB star R Hydrae. Bow shocks are also a common feature in herbig haro objects, in which a much stronger collimated outflow of gas and dust from the star interacts with the interstellar medium, producing bright bow shocks that are visible at optical wavelengths. The following images show further evidence of bow shock existence from dense gases and plasma in the Orion Nebula. Topic. Around massive stars If a massive star is a runaway star, it can form an infrared bow shock that is detectable in 24 micrometers and sometimes in 8 micrometers of the Spitzer Space Telescope or the W3, W4 channels of WISE. In 2016 Kobolniki et al. did create the largest Spitzer, Wise bow shock catalogue to date with 709 bow shock candidates. To get a larger bow shock catalogue the Milky Way Project, a citizen science project aims to map infrared bow shocks in the galactic plane. This larger catalog will help to understand the stellar wind of massive stars. The closest stars with infrared bow shocks are 
Most of them belong to the Scorpius Centaurus Association and Theta Carina, which is the brightest star of IC 2602, might also belong to the lower Centaurus Crux subgroup. Epsilon per se does not belong to this stellar association. Topic. Magnetic draping effect A similar effect, known as the magnetic draping effect, occurs when a super-alvanic plasma flow impacts an unmagnetized object such as what happens when the solar wind reaches the ionosphere of Venus, the flow deflects around the object draping the magnetic field along the wake flow, the condition for the flow to be super-alvanic means that the relative velocity between the flow and object, V display style V is larger than the local Alvin velocity V a display style V underscore a which means a large Alvinic Mach number M a 1 Display style M underscore A G G one. For unmagnetized and electrically conductive objects, the ambient field creates electric currents inside the object, and into the surrounding plasma, such that the flow is deflected and slowed down as the time scale of magnetic dissipation is much longer than the time scale of magnetic field advection. The induced currents in turn generate magnetic fields that deflect the flow creating a bow shock. For example, the ionospheres of Mars and Venus provide the conductive environments for the interaction with the solar wind. Without an ionosphere, the flowing magnetized plasma is absorbed by the non-conductive body. The latter occurs, for example, when the solar wind interacts with Moon which has no ionosphere. In magnetic draping, the field lines are wrapped and draped around the leading side of the object creating a narrow sheath which is similar to the bow shocks in the planetary magnetospheres. The concentrated magnetic field increases until the ram pressure becomes comparable to the magnetic pressure in the sheath. Rho 0 V 2 equals B 0 2 2 mu zero display style row underscore zero V carrot two equals frac B underscore zero carrot two two mu underscore zero where row zero display style row underscore zero is the density of the plasma b 0 display style b underscore 0 is the draped magnetic field near the object and v display style v is the relative speed between the plasma and the object Magnetic draping has been detected around planets, moons, solar coronal mass ejections, and galaxies. Topic. See also Shock wave Shock waves in astrophysics Heliosheath Fermi glow Bow shock, aerodynamics
equals equals notes. <laughs>